first sketched out my ideas to do these, Rich and Helen DeVos didn't support me. And later on when we got the medical school permission to move, which by the way is the first Division I school I think in the nation that's ever moved from its home base. Uh, Grand Rapids needed it. We needed Medical Mile, needed a medical. You know who gave me the second idea? George Vanderwoody, who was the manager of Van Andel. He said we'll never proceed to be a research community without a medical school. And that motivated me to put the deal together in 2000, one, two, three, and four. And then we announced it, and I think in four, and we built it in seven, and here we go. Now it's built this, and where we're standing, there'll be another building in two or three years, and then another one over here, and we've already got the plans going. We've talked, we've interviewed the people. Some of the most magnificent, I mean, you're talking about nanoparticles like uh, Richard Creighton put in his books 30 years ago about unheard of miniature particles that swim through your blood and can identify uh, sick tumors and attack them. It, it's just, it's science fiction. But these are the people who can help us get to the right place.